What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Insignia 40 inch class LED full HD TV I picked up at Best Buy for $149.99 down from $179.99. Out of five stars, this TV gets four and a half out of five out of 1,179 customer reviews. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. This is the 40 inch class TV. I did have the option of going with the 22 inch class, also by Insignia. I believe that TV was about $100. For $50 more, you get 20 more inches. This will be going in my living room where when people are coming over, they will want to watch. So. I figured why not go with a bigger TV, one that I could afford. I was also looking at the Sony's and the Samsung's and the Panasonic's, all three of which were OLED 4K Ultra HD TVs I could not afford. Well, let's just say they weren't in my budget. I thought $149.99 was a pretty great price for an LED 1080p 40 inch TV. I do only have the basic cable package, you know, just the local news networks and the major networks, Fox, NBC, CBS. So I'm actually really looking forward to getting this set up today so I can watch a little bit of football. I will have work tomorrow. So it will definitely be nice that after having spent two days moving in, I'll be able to just kick back and relax today and watch a little football on this beautiful TV. Let's go ahead and get into it. So on the back of the box here, you do get a pretty nice rundown of the specifications. Uh, as you can see, it is 39 and a half inches across, so it's basically 40 inches. Uh, it is 22 and a half inches high, so if you want the specifications to maybe put this in some kind of a wall unit, uh, also what I want to point out is it is of pretty average thickness. It's not as thin as the OLED TVs on the market today. Also what I really like is it does have three HDMI ports as well as one USB port so you can actually plug in a couple of game consoles, your cable box for example, you get one digital optical audio output which is great to know because if you do want to set up like a sound bar with this. So I just went ahead and cut this tape on the upper flap here, you can pretty much pull up on this stuff here, get some uh, papers on the inside there. Uh, right on top is the remote. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side. That's pretty important. Uh, you get the batteries on top as well. There are two AAA batteries. Uh, everything is kind of tucked away at the top of the box here. That is one leg of the stand. This is the second leg of the stand. And one last thing in the corner here are some screws to probably uh, set the stand up. So you'll definitely not want to forget those. And we should just be able to pretty much pull the TV right out of the box there. Like I said before, it doesn't look like anyone purchased this before. Just to show off the front of the TV here, this beautiful 40 inch LED TV. As you can see, you get the Insignia logo at the bottom of the television itself there. It's just painted on or stamped on. It's a sort of light gray. The television panel itself is actually all black and it's darker than the frame of the television itself. So, but for now, let's go ahead and get the stand installed so we can get it set up on our television stand. You can pretty much see on the bottom left and right hand side of the TV here, you do get a pretty simple insert for the legs itself. It actually goes in fairly simply. All we do is pretty much just attach the legs. If you want to mount this TV, it is possible, but I'm not going to do that today. Now that you've seen the unboxing and first impressions, I'm gonna set this up in my living room and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so it's been about a week actually since I've done the unboxing and the first impressions. I've been holding this video off because I actually wanted to give a pretty honest review about what I like about the TV and what I dislike about the TV. I pretty much come home every night after work and sit right here and have my dinner. As you can see, I've actually got a pretty decent little setup here. I actually went out and bought this TV stand at Target. It was about $150. Uh, there was another TV stand that I had that just wasn't that great of quality. And I stepped up to this one for 150 bucks and really I can't be any happier with it. But uh, that being said, um, 
this TV only being 40 inches actually fit right into my price range. Uh, if I would have bought something bigger and a little bit more expensive, which all of us want, of course, uh, I probably would have had to have upgraded the TV stand to something a little bit larger that could accommodate a larger screen TV. Uh, so this 40 inch TV actually fits really well. As you can see, I've got all my things hooked up to it here. That is a cable box. That is an internet modem. That is not hooked up to the TV, but the cable box is. Uh, I do plan on getting a sound bar for this TV. Uh, one thing that I actually dislike about it is I find myself having to watch this at about a 30 volume. Uh, it just really isn't all that loud any lower than that, uh, especially if I'm trying to get an accurate depiction of what's going on on TV. Uh, I find that just in the tens and in the teens, it's a little bit too low. So usually I keep it on at about 30 if I'm actually trying to watch it and enjoy myself. But like I said, yeah, this actually fits great in my apartment. As you can see, I don't have all that big of a living room. Uh, so when people actually come over and sit on the couch uh, or this chair here, uh, 40 inches will be perfect, I think. Uh, like I said, I do have the cable box set up. Uh, there's actually plenty of room for a few more peripherals here. Uh, there's another HDMI port down there. And there's also an audio optical output so that I can plug in a soundbar. There's also a USB port. Yeah, this is actually a fantastic TV. Uh, one of the things that I dislike about it is it really is a little bit on the thicker side. Uh, it's not as thin as those OLED TVs that you can find on the market that are much more expensive. But you know what? Maybe one day when I do finally buy a home, I'll have this on my back porch by my pool or maybe in my home office. I don't know. But so far, the picture quality is great and I absolutely love it. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Insignia 40 inch class LED full HD TV I picked up at Best Buy for $149.99, down from $179.99. Out of five stars, this TV does get four and a half out of five out of 1,179 customer reviews. This TV also does come in a 20 inch class version, so if you want it for your bedroom or for your home office, this is a fantastic option to go with. It does have three HDMI cables on the back as well as a USB port. What I really like about this TV is for $149, you get a great size and you get great picture quality out of it. I had no problems pulling great 1080p quality out of my cable box. Anyways, this is a pretty phenomenal purchase. I am super happy and I saved quite a bit of money buying this TV. I actually have a decent 40 inch LED TV in my living room that I can sit back and enjoy, especially when people come over. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. My name is John. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.